Whenever we talk about acids and bases, you cannot move on until you have uh, understood what pH scale means. Uh, when we are dealing with acids and bases, uh, pH, the term pH is used very, very often. And uh, uh, it's basically a pH scale and it gives you an idea of the, uh, uh, gives an idea about how high the concentration of each plus one ions is in a solution. So that is what, what the pH scale tells us. So um, briefly, let's look at water first. If you have a water molecule or if you have lots of water molecules, a very tiny amount actually breaks down to produce H plus 1 and OH minus 1 ions. But whenever water breaks down, it produces equal amounts of H plus 1, equal amounts of H plus 1 and OH ions. So remember one thing, whenever you have H plus 1, the concentration of H plus 1 and... Uh, Remember that uh, when, you, when you're talking about concentration, there's one way of writing concentration is that you can write the concentration of the ion using square brackets. So this is this basically represents the concentration of H plus 1 ion. So when you're dealing with water, pure water, distilled water, that's going to be the concentration of OH ions and H plus 1 ions is going to be exactly equal. And this would indicate a neutral solution. And the pH of this solution is always equal to 7. Similarly, if you have, uh, let's say you have an acidic solution. Now, if you have an acidic solution, uh, so this one is for a neutral solution. Let's say you have an acidic solution. Now, if you remember what acids did was, uh, let's take sulfuric acid and if it's aqueous, it's going to break down and produce two H plus one ions and one SO4 minus two ions and both of them would be aqueous. So this is uh, sulfuric acid and it's an acidic solution. And remember one thing that uh, acids produce H plus one ions. So obviously the concentration of H plus one ions is going to increase if you add it in water because water is going to produce H plus and OH ions in equal amounts but if an acid is present it's also going to add H plus 1 ions so the, so the total number of H plus 1 ions in solution is going to increase. So whenever you have uh, the concentration of H plus 1 ions is greater than the concentration of OH minus 1 ions that would mean that the solution is acidic and remember one thing that the pH is always going to be lesser than 7. So if the pH is lesser than 7, that means the concentration of H plus 1 ions is very high. And lastly, you have alkaline solutions. Alkaline solutions. Now, when we are dealing with alkaline solutions, we know, uh, let's take the case of NaOH. If it's, that's an alkali. If it's aqueous, it's going to break down into Na plus 1 and it's going to break down into OH minus one. So that's, uh, and both of these ions are going to be aqueous as well, dissolved in water. So you have uh, NaOH breaking down into OH ions. So if you look at this, uh, NaOH is, is an alkali, it's going to produce OH ions. So OH ions are going to be produced by water in which it is dissolved. So OH ions are being produced plus the alkali itself is producing OH ions. So the concentration of OH ions is definitely going to increase. So this is the third case where OH minus 1, the concentration of OH minus 1 is greater than the concentration of H plus 1. And whenever that is going to happen, that solution is alkaline and the pH is going to be greater than 7. So you have three cases. In one in which the pH is exactly equal to 7, that's a neutral solution. In, in, in an acidic solution, you have the pH less than 7. And in an alkaline solution, you have a pH 
greater than 7. Now, if I draw a pH scale, let's draw a scale. This is 0 and this over here is 14 and 7 is going to be exactly in the middle. Now, this is a rough example of a pH scale. Now, if you have a pH scale, uh, remember this represents uh, a neutral solution if your pH is 7. If your pH is uh, between 7 and 14, that would represent an alkaline solution. And if it's between 0 and 7, that would represent an acidic solution. One thing to remember even now is that uh, if the pH is close to 14, that would indicate a very strong a very strongly alkaline solution. If the pH is close to 14, that would mean it's strongly alkaline, which would also mean that the concentration of OH ions is not only greater than the concentration of H plus ion, but it's greater by a very large margin. Similarly, if the pH is uh, close to uh, 0, that would mean a strongly acidic solution which would mean that the concentration of H plus 1 ions is greater than the concentration of OH ions but by a very large margin. So remember one thing as you move away from 7, 7 is neutral anything close to 7 would be weakly acidic. Let's uh, let's write this down uh, anything over here is going to be weakly acidic. Similarly, anything over here close to zero is going to be strongly acidic. Similarly, anything between towards 14, 7 between 7 and 14, which is close to 7, is going to be weakly basic, and uh, anything close to 14 is going to be strongly alkaline. Instead of basic, the alkaline is the right or a better word to use. So um, I hope the pH scale is, cl is uh, clear to you all. Uh, we will also give a brief description of if you have to find uh, the pH of a solution. There are many ways of finding a, uh, the pH of a solution. pH can be measured using a pH meter. This is the most uh, convenient way. It will accurately measure the pH uh, of the solution between 0 and 14. Plus, there are other ways of uh, measuring the pH of a uh, solution, and those are uh, indicators which will tell us whether a solution is acidic or alkaline. The number one is uh, indicator is uh, litmus paper, or sometimes it's used in in a solution form, which is uh, which is called a litmus solution. So that's our first indicator. When 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 you add a litmus paper to an acidic solution, it's going to turn red. And when it's added to a basic or alkaline solution, it turns blue. So that's one indication. If you want to test a solution, just add litmus paper or litmus solution to it. If the color changes to red, that means it's an acid or it's, uh, the solution is acidic. And if the color changes to blue, that means that the solution is basic. Similarly, a second indicator is uh, methyl orange. Now, methyl orange is uh, red when it's it's also a solution. You just add a few drops of methyl orange to a solution. The solution turns red. That means it's acidic. If it turns yellow, that would mean it's basic. Similarly, the third one is uh, it's phenolphthalein. Now, phenolphthalein is going to be it's going to be colorless in an acidic environment, but it's going to turn pink if the solution is alkaline and there are many more indicators which uh, in, which can be used for indicating whether the solution is acidic or alkaline 
but the list is endless and uh, for all levels i think this is enough of uh, enough information that you need to remember to determine whether a solution is acidic or alkaline